At this time, there is no economically feasible way to remove the carbon dioxide from the flue gas. That occurs. I'd also like to bring to your attention that 300 years ago, the oxygen level in our atmosphere was 30% at sea level. Today, it's 19%. We are losing oxygen in our environment at the rate of one half percent every 10 years. And that is uh, potentially serious. In 10 years, we'll have 18 and a half percent oxygen in our environment. In 20 years, we'll have 18, I mean, it is potentially very bad if it continues at the rate we're going. Carbon capture technology is still developing. The flue gas is released into the air by passing it through a 168 meter tall stack. The white plume coming out of the stack is actually just water vapor. The other gases are invisible. Cold. The contaminated gas passes in through the scrubber's gas inlet and through the spray section. The scrubber's spray section is designed to cool the gas flow and entrap larger particles. These non-clogging sprays wash the underside of the plate and the walls to prevent materials. The fine water mist particles also help clear smoke. This happens because the carbon particles that are created by the fire easily attach themselves to the tiny water droplets. The carbon is therefore effectively weighed down by the water and with gravity sinks to the deck. This. Now we're going to play chemistry. The secret, believe it or not, is a substance that you find in your refrigerator. Mom used to put it on your cuts when they were... Hydrogen peroxide. Look at you. You are oh, set. Oh, sharp this, as however, attack. Hydrogen peroxide, H2O2. So hydrogen peroxide is really water. That's H2O plus an extra oxygen. So that's H2O2. Okay. See, they were okay. pretty excited about looking down here. So now they can look down here. Okay. We're going to put... This is 30% hydrogen peroxide. So this is 10 times as strong as you would get, for example, at the store do is to break it apart. Mm -hmm. So I want to release the water and the oxygen. So what we're going to do is I'm going to add this little catalyst here called manganese oh. dioxide. And, and now there look it at goes. This. And there is, that's the that secret. That is the special effect. So if you know how to do that, and that's the reaction, which does look pretty cool, don't yes, you think? Yes, it does. Yes, oh, most certainly. I think certainly. that's going on the tape. What do you think? Yeah. That's a, <laughs> it's a, your you know, what this, you know what you're actually getting here is water vapor. So notice oh. how it's just disappearing. Look oh, at this. Thank goodness. Oh, thank goodness. See, yours well. is still going because yeah. the little contraption that was hiding in yours. Production oh. gas. I'm going to put in some washing up liquid. What the washing up liquid is doing is that any the bubbles of gas that are formed will go into bubbles in the washing up liquid, and we can see how much oxygen is being produced. So because it's a catalytic decomposition, I don't need a lot of manganese dioxide. So I'm going to put a spatula tip in here. And we can see instantly the evolution of bubbles, and all those bubbles then are full of oxygen gas.